totems. Yeah. You know it ain't hopeless. It ain't hopeless. Yeah, thanks to you that I got this gear that I live with. Yeah, yeah you know we ain't nothing but misfits. Not some pumpkin. Yeah, frost, you'll be remembered. And even though you're long gone, I know you'll be remembered. Can you speak the rains in my life? After all this time that we could not spend together, why is work again be so boring? Thousand bases raided could never make this better. The staff team has taken this way too far. After all this time that we could not spend together Why does heartbreak have to be so hard? What's up everyone, it's Frostbite with another Purity Vanilla video. And this video is a special video because instead of giving you guys like another faction group video, I'm going to be talking about what kind of shit actually goes on when we're trying to find bases and specifically how we found velocity. So I actually did a whole script for this video and everything. I recorded it and I was listening back to it and it just sounds so bullshit when you're reading off a script. So I scrapped that. I like to keep it real and I'm just going to be talking freely. And this is all in one take. So, what the fuck even is Velocity, first of all, if you don't know? Um, they're a faction on Purity with about 10 people, so decently big. Uh, they started in October 2021, but they've gone pretty low-key until, like, February 2022. That's when I remember seeing them everywhere, right? And um, some of the members include... Pro Fresher, Diggs, Kylie Wiley, Leonosis, Sanko, and their leader is Old Man Gaming. From what I've gathered, they're a farm building faction. They like to build um, farms to automate stuff, sell them on the Trade Hub, and you've probably seen them on Trade Hub. You've seen like their Velocity Shop on Trade Hub, Exchange Network, and whatever everyone is using. Uh, they sell like gunpowder, wither skulls, um, what else? Slime. They used to anyways, but um, so obviously I took interest in that because he was selling wither skulls and before I was banned, the whole Blitz program like branding was wither skulls. Like that was the number one product, right? So obviously I took interest in that. Um, then I seen they roll out with like some faction page and all that they call themselves velocity and they also announced some new recruits like pro fresher digs and kyle and cyborg that's when they join so obviously you know the loot with like a farm building faction with some experienced purity players like you know it's gonna be juicy they actually fucked up on their faction page though and it read this in early january the base would be found by pro fresher who was base hunting. Having just come back onto the server after an extended break, Pro would come to live at the base instead of griefing it, and he would invite his friend YY Diggs. So this seems harmless if you're a new player reading this, but if you knew some background information about shit on the server, then there's a lot of information that you can actually infer from here. Basically, Mark Con again, he hypothesized that Velocity would be would be near the old legion base if pro fresher found it and if you don't know what legion is it's an old faction from 2020 um and pro fresher was in it Diggs was in it and pro fresher he went inactive right but when he went inactive the legion base was still in grief and then we griefed it i don't remember when in like 2021 but it's on my channel 
since he found it right after he started playing again. We knew that he was still in the area and he must have found it on accident because he was close by. The Chords of Legion, I'll put it on the screen now, it was in positive positive. So that combined with me knowing they had a Wither Skull farm is what we had to work off of. All right, I'll just search around the Legion base for a Wither Skull farm. It would be eight times faster than searching the overworld for a base. And then from there, I could just narrow it down. So I went to Legion, um, the nether side, and I searched like a 10K radius. And I searched for like days. And honestly, I was like doubting myself sometimes. I was like, yo, like, what if I don't even find it here? But I just like, fuck it. I'm gonna just keep flying. Cause the thing is like, even if, even if um, you don't find a faction, like if you're just putting in work covering a large distance, like you could find something. So it's not really a waste of time either way. But yeah, so the plan was I would just find their skull farm um, from Legion base. And then from there, we just narrow down where the base is. Eventually, I actually found it. And I found it at like 3 a.m. one night. I was pretty happy. And I knew it was theirs because it was a pretty decent farm. I'm not even a lot. It had a mob conveyor system, pumpkin head system. So Old Man Gaming, he knows this shit a little bit. Um, but like to really check if it was his, I came back later to see if he'd AFK it. And what do you know, he was there. So I was like, that was like, I, I was happy too when I, <laughs> when I seen him AFKing it. Um, and yeah, he, ha he also had a pearl and a bed for that alt in the overworld side. And I actually spent quite a few days searching the overworld side of that farm, like the immediate overworld side. And I actually found nothing. I didn't think he'd be stupid enough to build his base right outside of his wither skeleton farm, but I had to check just to make sure. Um... So yeah, Mark and I spent days in Tizzy and Doma a little bit too, uh, just looking around there in the overworld and the nether side, but we didn't find anything. But then I had an idea. I could just AFK below the farm on an alt with a replay mod, like at Bedrock. And uh, if he enters the farm on his main account, then I'd see which direction he came from. Or if he's leaving to go to his base from his alt, right? And I actually did that. I brought two accounts out. I brought one for the nether side, one for the overworld side, and they were both AFKing with replay mod. And I actually AFKed for like a week and he didn't do anything. But actually there were some times that he might have cause like I didn't like re I didn't re-log in my alts like right at the restarts. But yeah, for a whole week I like AFKed there, recorded it, and it didn't get anything, right? And at one point, I actually uh, starved his alt by mining the uh, regen beacon. And then his alt starved to death. And then I placed it back and then hit again. And um, I thought that he, because he was also on his main account while he was AFKing it, right? So I thought on his main account, he'd see in chat his alt died. He'd be like, what the fuck? And then he'd fly back to the farm to like re-gear it and see what's happening. But he actually just uh, respawned on his alt. He came to the farm, seen his items were to spawn, and he just rage quit, so I was like, fuck. But then actually, I found Kylie Wiley using the farm, and it clipped him coming into the farm, and I can see which direction. He was coming in from the east on the nether side. So that's half of the searching gone again. Um, we narrowed it down even further. And we knew that it would be further away from the Wither Skeleton Farm. Because he came through the nether. So in Minecraft, in the east direction, when you're traveling in the east, your X is increasing chords. So for the Wither Skeleton Farm, the Z chord was higher than the X chord. So I predicted that the X chord was not going to exceed the Z because it would then they'd just run the risk of their base being too close to the diagonal highway which wouldn't be smarter than at all. 
So this even further narrowed it down, but still a lot of fucking searching had to be done. So Mark, me, Tizzy, Build for Gods, we spent days searching the overworld side to the east direction. And the one thing that made finding this base difficult was how absolutely littered this area is with portals and trails left behind by like dozens of people. So this base was near Legion. It was near the chat, one of the Chaplet's old bases. And there was a few other like old faction and player bases that was all close by. So literally you could spend like hours flying around an ender chest or some portal you found. And it just leads to some old base anyways. And at one point, Mark and I, we tried asking Robert for help because they posted a picture with all their members in front of a hill that had some flowers in it on the Faction Hub page. So we asked Robert if he could do the flower rotations for us in case they took it near their base. And if you don't know flower rotations, they reset every few thousand blocks. So it works in like a grid, right? So we checked a hundred different coordinates and nothing. And we only fucked up the area even more because now we left behind all these portals and ender chests and all of this shit, right? So it was just littered with just trails that lead nowhere. And Build for Gods, he would actually find it last week um, while he was sharing a screen to me too. He found their massive sugarcane farm and it was 60k overworld from the skull farm. And it was southeast, but more to the south. And uh, we were pretty hyped when we found it. We were like, yo, this is pro." We didn't know for sure if it was them, but we we're like, yo, this is probably them. And we just started flying around. And from there, you know, it didn't take long before he found the rest of the shit. Gunpowder farm, gold farm, iron farm, villagers. Um, there was a map art there. And like, there was, a, there was actually a really cool build there too. Um, they use like quartz and shit. But... Yeah, and he even saw some people AFKing there. So we knew for sure it was Velocity. It was a pretty big base, and we were really excited. Um, it took us a while to finally track it down. And shout out to Build for Gods for that. He is a legendary base hunter since, like, I knew him. Ever since I knew him, he's always been hunting bases, like, back in, back in 1.9. Guy's crazy. But yeah, some of the loot included 30 to 40 god sets there was two rows of slime block shulkers five shulks iron blocks 30 to 40 shulks of sea lanterns 100 shulks of gas tears uh, nearly a row of shulker shell uh shulks and just hundreds of other shulkers that was just like totems gunpowder building materials and that kind of thing and from the information they provided on the faction hub we were able to narrow down the location of a faction base on a 1 million by 1 million block size map. One of the biggest questions I get is how do we find bases? And there's not a step-by-step -step guide that will work for any base, that will work for every single one. But hopefully this gives you some insight on the kind of shit that goes down when you try to look for a base. And hopefully this helps you look for whatever base you're trying to look for. Maybe it's my base. Maybe it's someone else's, who knows? This base serves as an example to how being in a faction can actually work against you. And by in a faction, I mean a traditional faction where you have your faction name in front of yours and have the faction page and do the exact same shit as every single other faction, pretty much. All it does is put you on everybody's radar. People want to know what the fuck you're doing, where are you? And people are able to see everyone in your team so they know exactly who to hit, who to hit up who to buy your cords from, who to finesse into showing the base, right? Other people do not like new factions. So when they see factions pop up, they are paying attention. Anytime you post something on Discord, someone is hoping you slip up or post your cords or give them some kind of hint. No one knew who the fuck Old Van Gaming was back in October, but the moment he rolled out with a faction name, faction page, and all these recruits, he was put on my radar and I made it my mission to track him down. If you were a completely new player or a no-name, you could flat out post your cords and it's likely no one's even gonna bother checking. If you wanna get rich, the best route is to just have a small group of chill guys that don't give a shit about what's going on on the server like how Velocity used to be. So be humble, fly below the radar, 
Find a select few you can trust and stay away from factions. Unless you're trying to grief them. In that case, do your thing. And if you need Wither Skulls to grief them, you can hit up my boy Daddy is coming. He's my boy and he will hook you up. My bad, my food just arrived. I got butter chicken shawarma. So I'm going to go mash on that. But I hope you guys take something from this video. I hope this helps you base hunters and anybody else who sees this and wants to be rich on purity. This video is for you guys. Yeah. How many times I gotta tell you that these pussies are all failures? Got a cringe fucking trailer and staff don't even want their genitalia. All these no-name NPCs.